Hi guys! Okay, I am in Publix. I'm with Tammy, Hello. my health coach Tammy. We are going to share with you today the top Thanksgiving grocery shopping hacks because it is all about, I know you guys know this is all about pumpkin spice and marshmallows and awesome spices for the fall. But you want to be armed with the best shopping tips this fall in the next week because I know you're going to be headed there this weekend. So I'm going to give you, we are going to give you some great alternatives and the things you must avoid during this holiday Thanksgiving season. So let's get down to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So we've awesome. got some good and some bad and the ugly too. All right. I'm not going to show you brands, but we're going to talk about some of the bad things that you want to avoid. So let's get started with stuffing. Now I'm not going to show you the brand, but most stuffing boxes are full of preservatives, you guys. So when I look at the list of ingredients, and that's what you want to do, that's what it's all about this Thanksgiving, is quality sourcing of ingredients. Read your labels. It pays to do that, you guys. So when I look at this, it's got high fructose corn syrup, soy protein. Soy is our number one um, glyphosate crop. So you want to avoid those packaged stuffing mixes, and it's really easy to make homemade. Easy. So I love this. So you can make homemade stuffing at home. You want to do that and avoid the boxes. That's number one. Now, we don't have an alternative for that because that's going to go homemade, but let's go on with some of our other things. Now, the creamers are really popular. I know that. You guys love creamers in your coffee. We've got great alternatives. Show us what we've got. We have almond milk, pumpkin okay. spice, creamer. This is a great alternative and it tastes yummy and it doesn't have, it's non-dairy, so that's a good thing. So we don't want dairy. Um, and you want to avoid, again, you want to avoid soy, you want to avoid high fructose corn syrup and your, your traditional creamers have artificial flavors. Corn syrup is a big one and corn again is our number one, one of our number one glyphosate crops. It's in the top five. So we want to avoid soy, corn, and absolutely the preservatives too. Exactly. So we've got that one covered. All right, let's go on to cranberry sauce. Let's talk about a traditional. Oh boy. Gonna pick on the cranberry sauce here, you guys. So cranberry sauce is a big contender for sugar. And average, on average, people are eating 4,500 calories for one Thanksgiving meal and up lot. to like 75 grams average sugars. That is a big player. 24 grams for women, 36 grams, which is six teaspoons for women, um, nine teaspoons, no, is that right? Four, yeah, nine teaspoons for men. So you want to stay within your sugar limit and one serving, just a quarter cup of packaged canned cranberry sauce has your daily limit of sugar. So what are we going to do instead? So we're going to make homemade cranberry sauce and you, all you do uh, is take fresh cranberries, three ingredients, three, three ingredients, fresh cranberries, uh, orange juice. And I love that that's organic. Organic awesome. orange juice, yes. And um, raw honey, or you can use um, maple syrup, 100% maple syrup, but um, just a little bit to sweeten it. And it's, it's very easy. We'll put the recipe, uh, how to do it, in the comments um, below later. Um, but three ingredients, super simple. And I love the maple syrup because that gives it the depth of flavor. So that's yes. an awesome choice. All right, canned whipped topping, you guys. Another hack that you need to avoid this Thanksgiving. Because, again, when we look at ingredients, we're looking at sugar, corn syrup, big one, and some thickening agents, and you don't want those thickening agents in your body either. So what are we gonna do instead? I see that cocoa whip down there. Oh, right here, Love sorry. It. Oh yes, okay, <laughs> this is found in your freezer section, cocoa whip, it has, it's made with coconut milk instead of um, fake ingredients. <laughs> right, right. Um, so yes, definitely uh, an, a better alternative coconut, uh, cocoa whip. And what's awesome is you can actually make your own coconut whipped cream topping. It's super easy. It's fun. Your kids can get involved. It is as easy as taking coconut milk. It needs to be the whole fat. You're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. And what happens is those fat solids get to the top. You're going to scoop that out the next morning after it's refrigerated and just whip it up like you would whipped cream. Put a little powdered sugar, organic, flavor it with vanilla extract, and you've got homemade coconut whipped cream. That sounds awesome. And you can keep that in your refrigerator um, for weeks. Oh, okay, awesome. next one that I want you guys to avoid is gravy. All right, you do not want packaged gravy. Again, as we look at the sourcing of the ingredients, we've got modified cornstarch. 
corn, again, one of our top five right. glyphosate crops. No so good. it pays to make homemade gravy, and we don't have a substitute on that one. You're just gonna go homemade with those drippings from your organic pastured turkey. Yes. All right, last one is, I, one thing I love about Publix is they are making options for healthy eating, yes. clean eating with their GreenWise products. Mm -hmm. So instead of your canned um, sprays that have, again, canola oil, canola is one of our top glyphosate crops, yep. and that's that number one active ingredient in Roundup, so we don't want the Roundup ingredients on our foods no. this holiday. Instead, what are we going to use? We are going to use um, the GreenWise Coconut Oil Spray. Um, this is Publix's own brand, and so this is um, their healthy alternative. You definitely want to use this and not Awesome. And we've got all kinds of great green wise ingredients. We've got um, almond flour, cane, raw cane sugar, vanilla extract. These are all great. Now on my website, I have recipes for pumpkin pie squares, some pumpkin pecan pie that use these in types of ingredients. So you want to head there for those recipes. And they're going to drop in the comments section of you watching this replay, put replay and also let us know, yes, I want uh, Tammy's awesome cranberry sauce ingredients. Yes, homemade. So that's what it's about this this holiday season, Thanksgiving. Quality sourcing. Read your labels, and to get healthy and detox from all of this, they're going to jump on the November 26th um, program to move back into your body and get those toxins out and get healthy. So that starts November 26th. You do not want to miss that get registered the Monday after Thanksgiving so I'm gonna do that I'm, I know oh I'm definitely doing that <laughs> for sure all right so drop a note in your comments let us know that you like uh, liked the video and that you got value out of it give us a comment let us know what your top pick was that you learned today and you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and happy shopping bye guys bye.